Hi, I'm John Waterhouse, and this is Weekday Wisdom. And my question for you today is, do you need to be so busy? I know life is coming at you fast and furious. It's doing that with all of us right now. And on top of this worldwide pandemic we're in the midst of, it's December, the season of franticness and high anxiety. It's all beginning. So how would you feel if the pressure that is customary this time of year would just settle down? I believe that's possible, not by changing our circumstances, but by changing our mindset. We are the creators of everything that we experience in life. So when we get caught up in how much there is to get done, the only one to look at is the person in the mirror, not to blame, but to understand that we really are in charge. So stop for a moment and think about who you are being when you're being busy. Being is a reflection of what you are holding in mind as a context for what you're doing. Is what you're doing joyful and intentional? Are you feeling continually fulfilled in how you're using your time? Uh, if your answer is yes, then uh, the busyness is likely not a big issue for you and you're in a minority of people on this planet. Uh, when we're moving through our days with joy and clear intention, we're able to harvest the bounty of being alive and well on planet Earth. We can be completely present to enjoy friends and family, to laugh and to experience all the good in life. We can focus on our work by doing what's most important each day. And we've learned to let go of the non-productive tasks that we're able to pay, uh, that we're able to pay attention to no matter what's happening and that we're making a difference. And you can pay attention to what's essential and avoid what's not. And that's if you're doing things joyfully and with great intention. But if you're not, if this doesn't sound like how your days normally go, here are five ideas that you can use to consider when trying to escape the, fran fran the fantastically busy world that many of us live in. Here's the first one. Recognize busy work for what it is. It's filler, it's not productive, and it's a waste of your time. Busy work sucks up our energy, so don't do it. How can you recognize busy work? Well, ask yourself, uh, what is the end that you're trying to achieve by doing any particular task? If you don't know, ask your boss or a coworker or a friend that you know will be honest with you. If it's busy work, it's become a routine that is most likely non-essential, most likely costly, and certainly counterproductive. So don't do it. Focus, now the second idea is to focus on new things that are most important and essential to your sense of personal fulfillment. Things that give you the greatest sense of accomplishment when they're complete. Please don't wait for some ethereal future to be happy. Be happy now. Your joy comes from each step you take because you're breathing life into whatever you're focused on. The third idea is to create space for reflection, contemplation, and checking in on the well-being of those that are closest to you. So take time. Take time to, to connect with people that you love. We think about them, but usually we don't do anything about it. And this is a different way of approaching this. Those connections of the closest people in your life are priceless, and they may not always be there. So take time to reach out, and then take time for yourself. Make sure that you're including yourself in this idea of, of well-being. Every so often, just turn off the busy switch and allow your inner peace to come forward, to, to blossom in you. And sometimes that doesn't take much except breathing and remembering who you are. The fourth idea is don't wait for later. Stop being busy now. Eliminate something from the bottom of your list today. Think of what it is, let it go, and see how that feels. If you do this every day, it won't take long then you, until you find that you have a clear mind and the clutter and worry has been swept away. And the last idea I have for you is that if you're thinking, oh yeah, but I've still got a million things to do. Okay, we all have lots to do. 
But we can only do those things one at a time. And what I've learned is that multitasking breeds mediocrity. We really don't do multiple things at the same time well. So as you're doing these one things, first thing to do there is to eliminate the story. Don't get caught up in how hard this is and how it's messing up your day. The most important task is to do the thing that is most important. And when you've got that handled, do the thing that is second most important. And when you've got that done, you can probably see that the unimportant things are taking on a different look and that they're falling away naturally. So if you do any of these things, you might find that you've got a little more time in your day, a little more ease in your breathing, and that you're living the way you intended to live. Now, just thinking about it, doesn't that feel more peaceful already? I, I'm trusting that it does for you. And I'm knowing for you that you're having a fantastic day. So go out and do it. Thanks a lot. Bye.